If you're a woodworking beginner looking for a fun and easy project, then you might want to consider making one of these wooden cylindrical tube things. You can put stuff in it if you want. Maybe some pins, a cup, a bottle, some tools, some wine, some spoons, a plant, or even your favorite candle. I don't know your life, do whatever you want with it. For this project, we used a Win 16 inch variable speed scroll saw, an oscillating spindle sander, a 4x36 inch belt disc sander, and an 18 volt cordless drill. First off, print three copies of the design linked in the description below. Use some adhesive spray to attach the three sheets to some reasonably sized boards. Keep in mind that the smaller the boards, the easier scroll sawing will be. Next, drill through five of the six center circles to make pilot holes for the scroll saw. Make sure to leave one circle as is without a pilot hole. This will be the base of your cup. You're now ready to start scroll sawing. First, cut out the inner circle by fishing the blade through your pilot hole. Pin blades are usually the easiest and quickest type of blade to attach. And remember, as with any woodworking project, it's always safety first. Once your blade is nice and taut, you're ready to start sawing. The flexible worm light will help to illuminate your path as you make your way around the circle while the blade guard foot and cast iron base limit vibration in the wood. Once you have finished cutting out the full circle, detach the blade and slide your workpiece out. Repeat this with the remaining four inner circles you need to cut before moving out to the outside of the circles. It can be tricky to stay on the line, so if you're going to make a mistake, try and favor the side of the wood that can be later sanded off, as opposed to cutting out a sliver of your cup. When you're all done, you should have five wooden rings and one base piece. They aren't perfect, but neither am I, so it's all good. Use your belt sander to smooth the tops and bottoms of all the pieces, along with removing the design paper you attached at the beginning of the project. Next, glue the five rings together using the wood glue of your choice. Make sure the circles are straight and fully sealed. Then, clamp the piece together and let it dry. Once it's done, you should have an object that looks a little something like this. Now we can move on to our oscillating spindle sander. Before sanding, attach a wind dust extractor to make sure your sawdust and shavings don't fly everywhere. Then, smooth out the inside of your tube so that the rings are all flush with one another. Once it's done, you should have an object that looks a little something like this. Finally, glue on the base of the cylindrical tube. Again, make sure it's totally sealed and correctly aligned before clamping down the piece. After the tube thing has a chance to dry, take it back to the oscillating spindle sander and have a go at the outside. When you're finished, you should have a smooth little wooden cup to put stuff in or do whatever you want with. I don't know what your plan is, you made it, not me. Anyways, this is a great project to introduce beginners to the scroll saw and the spindle sander. So remember, when you need a fun woodworking project on a lazy afternoon, remember when.